guys, so thank you for watching this because there is a lot of stuff that you need to learn about for today, okay? Um, we are starting our research paper. By starting our research paper, what I mean is we're going to go through what's on this agenda for today. Let me, let me just get you started with it, okay? So that link is right here, and we are going to go through slides one through six. So let me hit present. Oh, okay. It's coming. There we go. So, junior research paper, here we are. Sort of. It's coming. The button is underneath the timer. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we are. So, the basics of a research paper. This is an argumentative paper. What that means is you're reaching, you are researching two sides of some sort of a controversial topic, and then you're going to argue one side in your paper. We're going to give you the topics. You're going to pick from the topics. You're going to research both sides of it. You're going to pick a side and defend it. Your paper is going to be three to four pages. It's going to be in MLA formatting. And initially, you have to research both sides. Even if you think that you strongly agree with one side or the other, you have to research both sides through our process. Um, you're not actually going to be doing any physical research. We're going to provide you with the articles that you are required to use, okay? Um, so, once you pick your topic, you are going to be provided six articles. You have to print these six articles. So, you need to find a printer. If you don't have a printer at home to print the six articles, you can go to the public library where you can print. You can send them to a Staples where you can print. You can ask your mom or dad to print them at work if that is something they're allowed to do. Okay? So you will be printing six articles. You're going to be doing that by Monday. So you're going to have access to those today. The other thing that you need um, for this project are 30 index cards. So buy yourself a pack of index cards. And you'll need about six binder clips. Okay? I suggest you get all of these materials together over the weekend. So on Monday, when we start writing, you're ready to go. All right. So this first week, we're going to decide on our topic. You're going to print the articles. That's actually what you're going to do today. Um, you're going to read and record your information in a specific format that we're going to give you. You're going to have an MLA review. Second week is going to be outlining and analyzing both sides of the argument, building a case for one side synthesizing all of your information. We're going to walk you through that. Week three is when you're writing your paper. So we're going to get almost all the way through the paper by spring break. And then after spring break, you're going to come back and write your conclusion. So this is showing you the topics you have to choose from. Okay. So you can choose from social media and information, gun control and bans, climate change, marijuana legalization, free college, and defunding the police. So what you'll have two options for the argument. Social media is helpful because it helps spread information faster than any other media, or social media enables the spread of unreliable and false information. So you can open up this slideshow and take a look at this document so that you can see all of the topics look at them, look at what the two different arguments are that you have to choose from, and that you're going to be entering that into a, um, a survey, okay? So this, you'll want to come back to this slide and kind of check it out. Today, you're going to complete the survey with the topic that you've decided on. You're going to print your six articles by Monday. You're going to bring your supplies to next class period where you guys are just going to have them at your desk by Monday. And again, those supplies are 30 index cards, six binder clips. I didn't say this before, but the three different color highlighters, very important because that's how you're going to be organizing information. Um, and then, of course, your six articles. Okay. Now, let's see. I want to show you what you do next. So, that, what we just looked at was this link right here. So you can go back and click on that link to see um, to see that chart again if you want. 
Then you're going to complete this survey to pick your topic. Okay, so here is, you click on it, and here is your survey. You're just going to go through this, your period, your name, which topic you decided on. Um, based on the topic you decided on, which, which side do you think you will be on before you start your research? So you probably have an idea of what you think you believe. But then after you do the research, you might be surprised. You might change your mind about something. And then you'll click Submit. So just clicking one thing here and one thing here. All right. After you have done that survey, what you can do is click on this link right here. And it's going to show you all the articles for the paper. So if you chose uh, climate change, you'll click on this folder and you will print those six articles. If you chose free college, gun control, defunding the police, whichever one you pick, you're going to click on that folder. And those are the six articles that you need to print. Okay, six articles you are printing. That's all you're going to be doing for your research paper for today. All right, so that's this whole top part. Now, I don't think that that will take you very long. Now what you're going to do is you are going to read from page 30, I try to be a good Mexican son and getting ready to say I. So this is page 30 and page 61. If you click on these, I think um, we've got some videos for you. As you do them, as you read each one at the bottom of the poem or on the page somewhere, write what you think the meaning or the message for that poem is. Take a picture of it and submit it to the annotation submission box, okay? Um, after you do that, you're going to be writing this bio poem. Let me show you the bio poem. Um, this bio poem is about your parents, okay? So you're going to talk to your parents. So the poems that you're reading today by Oliveras are about his parent. So you are going to do one about your parent, a bio poem about your parent. And it's really simple. It's a Google assignment. So when this comes up, um, all you are doing, you are getting rid of, obviously, anything that is italicized. So parent or guardian, first name only. So like my mom's name is Sandy Turpening. So I would put Sandy here. And four adjectives that describe her. So I would highlight that and get rid of it and give four adjectives. Then here, son, daughter of, well, she's the daughter of, because I'm writing about my mom. So I would erase son, daughter of. Lance and Elizabeth Fulton, lover of cats, flowers, you get the idea, right? So you're going to go through and you're going to create this poem. You're going to delete the things that don't belong, including the directions, and then you will click submit. And that is what you are doing for today. If you need any help or have any questions, please let us know.